kids and Central Preschool. I am Pastor Hannah and this is Mrs. Tiffany. We are so excited you have joined us for our brand new series, Star Warriors. During this series, we are going to be following some of our Central friends on an adventure through the galaxies. And we're gonna do this to discover the leaders that God chose to help save Israel from their terrible, horrible, no good, very bad situations. We have all of our central friends already boarded on the spaceship to help us. And before we get updates from their journeys, we need to make sure that you guys are ready too. Are you guys ready? All right, stick around and listen closely because we have updates on our journey headed your way. Hey friends, it's Super Simon here. In Central Kids, we have been studying about ancient Israel. And during this time, other people were occupying the land that God had promised to the Israelites. And they had to go to war in order to get it out. Now, before Joshua led the Israelites to take over Jericho, he spent time in worship. When we're facing something difficult, it is always a good idea to take time to pause and use our superpower of worship. You're not going into real war, but there may be some times in your life when things are going bad or life is just difficult. Today, let's pause and thank God for being with us during this time and thank Him for helping us. We can do this through worship. We can worship God during this time by singing to Him, raising our hands, and through dance. Worship is a strong superpower.
I just can't seem to learn to follow instructions. Uh, Benny, you, you don't always do the best job at following directions and doing what you're supposed to sometimes. I know, and it's causing me so much trouble. So, 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 a few days ago, we yeah. launched into the galaxy. Yeah. And, and, and my captain, she gave us an assignment to do. Well. I didn't read the instructions and I did it how I wanted and, and, and my captain didn't like that so when she saw it, she failed me! So Ugh. I told my captain I was sorry for not doing what I was supposed to. She forgave me and let me do the assignment again! And she even took time to help me and I did it better that time and you know what? You know what? She gave me a passing score! Fetty, it sounds like your captain is very kind and very forgiving. She is! But I messed up again. Ugh. The next day, I was out in the game room on the spaceship, and one of the other space people made me really, really, really mad. So I hit him. Benny! You're not supposed to hit people! I know. I know I'm not supposed to hit them. My captain even saw it, and she made me go back to my station, and I felt so bad for hitting. And I didn't mean to make my captain upset either. So afterwards, I apologized to my captain, and I asked her to help me write an apology letter to the person I hit. Well, even though you messed up again, 
She still helped you. It sounds like your captain must really love you and really care about you. She does! And I hate to, to say this, but I still didn't learn uh. my lesson. Later that day, it was snack time! And now during snack time, we're not supposed to play with our food. But I didn't listen. Instead, I took my cheese stick and shoved it up my nose to make alien faces at my friends. <laughs> My captain reminded me of the rules, but I just uh, kept doing what I wanted. I can't believe this, Benny. I thought that you would have learned from the last time you messed up, and you would have done what you were supposed to. I know, but I didn't. And this time, my captain took my snack away and made me just sit there while the rest of my friends enjoyed snack time. After snack time, I told my captain I was sorry and asked her to forgive me. And to my surprise, she forgave me and let me eat my snack while I was on watch duty. After you just kept messing up and messing around and doing things that you weren't supposed to, she, she, was, your captain was still kind to you? Your captain still forgave you? Yeah, 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 yeah. I can't believe it either. Who would ever forgive someone after they've messed up so, 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 so many times? Well, Benny, over the next few weeks, we are actually looking at a group of people called the Israelites who kept making the same mistakes over and over and over again, too. Did they get put in timeout in their stations, too? Uh, not quite. God did punish them for their disobedience, but after they asked God for help, he would send a leader to help them get out of those bad situations. Those are the leaders that we are on the search for. Wow, God must love his people so much. I can't wait to hear more about God's love and these leaders he sent to help. But before we get to all that, I have a question for all my friends. Okay, Benny, go ahead. When was a time that you messed up and mm. how did God help you? That's a great question, Benny. All right, friends. Let's put our fingers to our brains to show that we are thinking of an answer to Benny's silly question. Now, when you have an answer, I want you to pretend to pull out a lightsaber. Then, later, you can have a, light, a pretend lightsaber battle with a family member or a friend while you share your answer to today's question. I love lightsabers! I know, I, I'm glad you don't have one though, because I feel like you'd make a mess. What? Well, I'm gonna go get mine now, because I've got one now. Oh, no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna go get it. Oh, I'm gonna no, go get it. I'm a lightsaber fighter with everybody. Uh, all right. So bye, many bye. 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 Hey, friends. It's Disco Debbie here. Today, we will be discovering that even when God's people make mistakes, they ask him for help, and he is gracious enough to help them. Our God is gracious, and that's our central point. So today, when you hear this sound, I want you to stand up, show off your groovy dance moves, and say the central point. Are you ready? On the count of three. One, two, three. God is gracious. That was awesome. Now I want you to try it all by yourself. Great job, friends. Keep your ears open and your groovy dance moves ready because you'll never know when you'll hear that sound and you'll have to say the central point. Bye, guys. Hey friends, it's Professor Peggy here, and today I am inside my new laboratory aboard the Central Kids Spaceship. We are looking for some star warrior leaders. These are the leaders that God used to save his people. Do you want to check out a science experiment I'm working on that will help us better understand what we are learning about on this adventure together? Great. For this science experiment, you will need Orbeez, some water, and a container, a frying pan, or a griddle, and which can be something hot. Do not try this on your own. Only do it with the help of an adult. First, you're gonna need to soak your Orbeez in water until they have expanded, like these. Then you're gonna take them out and place them in a dry, empty container. And then you're gonna heat up a frying pan, and when they're hot, you're gonna drop them in. When the Orbeez left the water and went into the frying pan, things get crazy. You see, these Orbeez are kind of like the Israelite people. Whenever they chose to do whatever they wanted and not follow God anymore, 
their life got chaotic and very, very difficult. The good thing is, just like I can help these Orbeez by taking them out of the heat, putting them back in some water, God helped his people during those bad situations. How cool is that? Thanks for visiting, scholars. Has anyone seen my hairbrush? A Remember Verse is a piece of scripture that we explore and memorize together. Well, I'm stuck on this space shuttle. This month, our verse is Romans 8, 28. This piece of scripture is a great reminder that God can take tough situations in our lives and bring good things out of those situations to help you learn this month's Remember Verse. You can find fun videos, coloring pages, and even games on thecentralhub.org slash kids at any time throughout your week. It is important to remember God's word. That way we can go back to God's truth when things are difficult or when someone else in our life needs some encouragement. Can you think of a time that you needed some encouragement? Or maybe someone else needed encouragement. Now, let's stand up and sing and dance to our Remember Verse song together.
portion of the big God story, we will discuss that God is gracious. Even when God's people didn't show him love, when they were in bad situations and they needed help, he still showed them love. He was still kind to them. But before we explore this part of the big God story, we're going to pray and ask God to speak to us and teach us through his word. Did you know that God can speak to you through the Bible? Pray with me and ask God to help you listen. Dear Jesus, please be with us all today. Help us to have open ears and hearts to hear what you have to tell us. Help us always to be listening for your voice and to hear it and obey it when it comes. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. The Israelite people followed God all the days that Joshua lived and as long as Joshua's friends lived. All the people were in the land of Canaan, but as soon as Joshua and the other leaders died, they did something that, well, didn't show God love. They started worshiping idols, something they should have never done because they knew that God was the only living true God. The people began worshiping other gods because they had not driven all the Canaanites out of the land. And they began to marry Canaanites and the people forgot all about their one true God. They did not worship him. They did not keep his commandments. Mm -mm. And they definitely did not serve him. And during this time, Israel was not ruled by any kings yet. God instead had the children of Israel ruled by a number of judges. The judges were people that God picked to take care of his people when they were in trouble. The judges, well, they weren't judges like we know. They, you wouldn't find them in a courtroom. But instead, they were Jewish leaders who would help unify the people, get them to repent from their sins, dealt with spiritual problems of the nation, and they also dealt with the physical threat. They would act like military leaders, guiding the people. God would give the Israelites one judge at a time. These judges are recorded in the Bible, in the Old Testament, in the book called Judges, and some in 1 Samuel. Some judges have a little written about them, and others have much more said about them. We can read in the book of Judges about how the children of Israel sinned and disobeyed God when they didn't want to do as he commanded, and then they would fall into the hands of their enemies, and then their enemies would take them over, and then the Israelites didn't like that, so then they cried out to God for help, and God would then raise up a judge to give them to help lead them out of their very bad situations. And once they were out of their enemy's hands, the people, they would forget God and they would sin again. This was called a cycle, a very bad cycle. The people would sin and forget God. The people would cry out to God for help. God would deliver them, but then they would just sin again. The cycle just kept happening. Yet every time, God would listen kindly, would forgive them, and then he would send someone to help them. He would send a judge to help. This cycle happened for many, many years. Over these 300 years, there were 15 judges who ruled over the children of Israel. See, there were lots and lots and lots, 15 judges. In the beginning, some of the judges turned out to be great leaders, but over time, some of the judges turned out to live very sinful lives and they were pretty bad leaders. Over the next few weeks in Central Kids, we're gonna look at three of these judges. Deborah, who was the only woman judge, and then Gideon and Samson. We will look at how God used these women and men to lead the Israelite people out of their bad situations. We will see how God was kind and forgiving to the Israelites whenever they sinned and they messed up. God is gracious. Even though the Israelites messed up and lived disobediently when they prayed and asked God to forgive them, not only did God graciously forgive them, but he also helped them get out of that bad situation. God has not changed. God is still gracious. Even when we mess up, God is there to forgive us and help us when we call out to him in prayer. 
Today, let's take some time to talk and listen to God. This is a great opportunity for you to tell God about anything disobedient you have done and ask him to forgive you of your sins. Ask him to help you in that area that you have messed up in. God loves you so much that he wants you to let him help you and take care of you. So as soft worship music plays, let's spend some time with God. You can write out your prayer, draw your prayer, or use your five fingers we talked about last week during your prayer time. Don't forget to also take some time to be quiet and allow God to speak to you. Have a great time talking and listening to God today.
Thank you guys so much for joining us in Central Kids and Central Preschool. Now we come to the blessing part of our time together. A blessing is a portion of scripture or words to encourage you and guide you throughout your week. So just as we speak this blessing over you right now, you can speak it over your family or your friends too. So let's pause where we're at and place our hands out in front of us like we are ready to receive something. All right, Hebrews 4, 16. Let us then with confidence draw near to the throne of grace that may, we may receive mercy and find grace to help in time of need. May God remind you that he created you unique and special. May you know that he invites you to be in a relationship with him, to be a part of the big God story. May the Holy Spirit guide you and give you peace today and forever. Amen. All right, friends, thanks for joining us on our journey. We will see you next week as we continue going around on the galaxies. Star Warriors. Bye, guys. Bye. Bye.